I guess in this video, I am going to discuss about print triangle pattern like this format. First is 5, next 4, 5, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, 5, 1 times, or 4, 2 times, 3, 3 times, 2, 4 times, and 1, 5 times. So, this format, we have to uh, print the triangle. So for this, so let's go to code block and inside the main method, I am going to take or to integer variable, first is i, next is j. And here after, let's write to for loop, here i equal to 5, i greater than 0, i minus minus. And here after, let's write one more for loop, and here j equal to i and here j less than equal to 5 j plus plus and here after write to a uh, print a function and here write to percent a and print the value of j and uh, next to uh, write to print a function for what time and here slash n so this is the code to print the triangle pattern like this format. So let's execute and see. Here, this is our display expected output I'm getting now. So if you wanna print the value, sorry, print the triangle like this format. So here you need to change the in place of J, right I. And here, oh, see, expected output it's going five. 4, 4, uh, 3 times 3, 2, 4 times 1, 5 times. Next, I am going to discuss what the try and method of this program. So, here is the code. So, if you debug the code, then control comes to main uh, function. Here, after that, coincide. So, actually, I have taken two integer variable. First is i, and next is j. Now, here, after control comes to follow. Here, i value start from 5. And uh, check the condition 5 greater than 0. So this condition is true. So that coincide here j equal to i. So i value go to five, uh, j. So at here j is now 5. And uh, that check the condition 5 less than 5. 5 less than equal to 5. So 5 equal to 5. Condition is true. So that print the value of j. Percent because j is uh, integer time. So that print to uh, j value. So at here 5 print. Now next is that go up increase the value of j. So j is so 5 to 6. Here check the condition 6 less than equal to 5. So this condition is not true. Now control comes to this point. So printer function slash and then uh, cursor bring to the near line. Now here after that go up decrease the value of i. So i is now 4. Check the condition 4 greater than 0. So this condition is true. So that coincides right here. i value go to j. So j is now 4. Here check the condition for less than equal to 5. Condition is true. So that print the value of j. So j is now 4. So 4 print. Here after that go up increase the value of j. So j is now 5. Check the condition 5 or less than equal to 5. So this condition is true. So that coincide that print the value of j. So j is now 5. So 5 print. Here after that increase the value of j. So j is 6 now. Check the condition 6 less than equal to 5. So this condition is not true. So control comes to this point. Printer function slash and then cursor bring to the near line. Here after that go up increase or sorry decrease the value of j. i. So i is now 4 to 3. Here after check the condition 3 greater than 0. So this condition is true. So here j equal to i. So i value go to j. So j is 3 now. Here after check the condition or j less than equal to 5, so 3 less than equal to 5, so that coincide, that print the value of j. So j value is 3, so 3 print. Here after that go up, increase the value of j, so j is 4 now. Check the condition, 4 less than equal to 5, so that coincide, that print the value of j. So j value is 4, 4 print. Here after j is now 5. Check the condition, 5 less than equal to 5, condition is true, so that print the value of j. So j value is 5, so 5 print. Here after that go up, increase the value of j. So j is 6 now. Check the condition 6 less than equal to 5. So this condition is not to not coincide here. Printer function slash sign then cursor print to the new line. 
here after that go up in or uh, decrease the value of j so j is oh sorry decrease the value of i so i is 2 now or check the condition 2 greater than 0 condition is 2 so i have i value go to j so 2 go to j and here of to check the condition 2 less than equal to 5 condition is 2 so that print the value of j so j value is 2 so 2 print here of to that increase the value of j so j is 3 now check the condition 3 less than equal to 5 condition is 2 so that print the value of j so j value is 3 so 3 print here of to j increase so j is 4 now check the condition 4 less than equal to 5 that's true so that print the value of j so j value is 4 so 4 print here after j is increase now so j is 5 check the condition 5 less than equal to 5 condition is 2 so that print the value of j so j is 5 now here after that go increase the value of j so j is 6 check the condition 6 less than equal to 5 so this condition is not true so control comes to inspect printer function slash in then cursor bring to the near line now here after that go up decrease the value of i so i is now 1 check the condition 1 greater than 0 condition is 2 so here follow j go to i so i value go to j so i value is now 1 check the condition 1 less than equal to 5 so that print the value of j so j value is 1 1 print and here up to j go to increase so j is 2 now check the condition 2 less than 5 condition is 2 that print the value of j so right here 2 print here after j go to increase so j is 3 now check the condition 3 less than equal to 5 condition is 2 so that print the value of j so 3 print here after j go to increase so j is 4 now check the condition 4 less than equal to 5 condition is 2 so that print the value of j so 4 print here after j is 5 now check the condition 5 less than equal to 5 condition is 2 so that print the value of j so 5 print here after j is now 6 check the condition 6 less than 5 condition is not true so printer function come so slash and then cursor link to the new line here after that go up decrease the value of j decrease the value of i so i is 0 now so i have to check the condition 0 less than equal to 0 so this condition is not true so here after that output follow and next that output main function so getting the expected output so this and this one and this one are equal and this is the dry run method of this program so if you are interested to do the dry run method of this so triangle pattern so need to change only here you have to write i and do the same try and method so definitely or you will get the expected output so now in this video it's over so one more one point i i forget so if you like to convert this code in uh, c++ programming so need to write only here here you need to write to c out and here you need to get the out again and your double code slash n. So this code is now converted into of C language. And here for C this must be necessary. So let's uh, execute the code. Here C out print the value of J. Execute one more time. So here the expected output I'm getting 5, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if you are going to print the value of i, so right here, so this is printing the value of i. So code is working correctly. So now in this video, it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next.